What if I told you that the AMX-50 Cerbese could be way more powerful than in the game? On est touché. Cible détruite. Today, we're diving into the firepower of the AMX-50 family, comparing in-game stats to real-life test data, uncovering where Gaijin got it right and where they might have taken a little artistic license. A cool curiosity about the AP round used by the French 120mm is that it's the same round fired by the American M103. But since the French project never progressed beyond prototypes, we can't confirm whether their 120mm gun would have been fully compatible with the entire family of M103 ammunition. In-game, the 120mm APBCT, listed as obus de rupture, comes with a muzzle velocity of 1,067 meters per second and a projectile mass of 23.1 kilograms. According to War Thunder's stat card, at point-blank range, 10 meters, it can penetrate 301 millimeters of armor at 0 degrees, 220 millimeters at 30 degrees, and 113 millimeters at 60 degrees. At 1,000 meters, those numbers drop to 272 millimeters, 201 millimeters, and 103 millimeters, respectively. And at the longest listed distance, 2,000 meters, penetration falls to 245 millimeters at 0 degrees, 184 millimeters at 30 degrees, and just 94 millimeters at 60 degrees. On paper, those values aren't bad, especially for a post-war AP round. But when we put them side by side with historical test data, the difference becomes much more noticeable. U.S. Army trials from 1953 tell a different story. At 1,000 yards, 914 meters, and 30 degrees, the M358 achieved 221 millimeters of penetration. At 60 degrees, it managed 124 millimeters. And even at 2,000 yards, the numbers held up. 196 millimeters at 30 degrees and 114 millimeters at 60 degrees. That's a consistent 10 to 20% difference at most ranges and angles. It might not seem huge, but in a game where 10 millimeters can be the difference between a ricochet and a full kill, it matters. To help visualize the difference, I created a graph comparing in-game stats to historical estimates. At zero degrees, the difference is minimal, usually within plus or minus 5%, which suggests that Gaijin likely based these numbers directly on a DMAR-style calculation. But once we move to 30 degrees, the game starts to underestimate penetration by 6 to 12%, depending on the distance. And at 60 degrees, the gap becomes more dramatic. War Thunder lists values that are 15 to 18% lower than what our reconstructed historical performance suggests. This is important because it means the shell performs reasonably well when hitting armor head-on, but it loses too much efficiency against angled plates, even though real-life tests showed it retained energy better than most rounds of its time.